This is an aluminum block or aluminum if you prefer. I'm going to drop it into this beaker. It sinks, no surprise. Then how is it possible for large heavy ships made of metal to stay afloat? Let's investigate. I have here a force meter that allows me to measure the weights of objects. The reading is two newtons. Let's now submerge this object into the beaker. The reading is now 1.8 newtons, 0.2 newtons less than before. That means that it must be a force of 0.2 newtons pushing the object upwards. This force is called the buoyant force or upthrust and is equal to the weight of the water displaced by this object. The more water it displaces, the larger the force. Back to the aluminium block. This block has a mass of 2.5 grams and here is an aluminium foil of identical mass. If I manage to shape this aluminium foil in such a way that it displaces sufficient water so it compensates for the pull of gravity, it will float. And as a bonus, we can add 2.5 grams. 